Hey everyone, it's me Sarah here from Wholesale Ted and in today's video we're going to talk about three ways that you can turn $50 into $100 a day in passive income. Now I'm not going to lie, once you have passive income, it truly changes your life. Now I've heard people like Gary Vee say that passive income doesn't exist and I might actually make a video on that at some point because while it's true that passive income from businesses isn't just set and forget for life, it can be set and forget for weeks and even months at a time. I myself earn thousands of dollars a day from multiple sources of passive income and I was recently reminded about how incredible that truly is. Last month I grammed about how my parents and I went on a dream vacation. And if you want to follow me by the way, my handle is Sarah Crispy. It was a seven day Disney fantasy cruise around the Caribbean. I've wanted to do this since I was a kid, so it was a dream come true. There was just one problem though, Disney cruise ships have horrible, horrible internet. And my New Zealand cell phone provider did not offer mobile data around the Caribbean. I was basically off the grid for those seven days. And when I arrived back to reality at Port Carnival and turned on my cell phone, I was greeted with two things. One was a lot of emails, and the second was well over $10,000 in passive income from multiple sources in my accounts. Most people who hop into a Disney cruise come out the other side seven days later poorer than when they got on, but it turns out that if you take the initiative and build up passive income sources, that you can actually come out richer than when you got on. So unlike what Gary Vee says, I truly do believe that passive income does exist. And of course, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three ways that you can build up passive income sources that can make over $100 a day. But I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting. So in this video, not only am I gonna talk about three sources of passive income, but I'm also gonna talk about how anyone can get started with them for just $50. Yes, just $50 in startup investment money. Although, disclaimer, these methods will be utilizing something else and that is your time. In life and business, if you wanna make fast money, the only real way to do that is to purchase paid instant traffic. We're not gonna be doing that in this video though, so instead you need to be prepared to invest your time. And even if you are a regular on this channel, I think you're going to learn some new things, including a winning product that you probably didn't know about. So let's move on to the first one. Source one, selling funny t-shirts on eBay. So, okay, here is the thing. Did you know that there are lots and lots of stores on eBay, like Graphic Gear UK, making over $10,000 a month with 30% profit margin, selling incredibly basic text-based t-shirts featuring funny phrases and slogans like these here. Take this t-shirt they created. This simple text-based shirt has made over 6,000 US dollars. And this simple shirt here has made over $3,000. And this text-based shirt here, it's made over $7,000. While we can't know their exact sales, based off the number of reviews, statistically, Graphic Gear UK made over $10,000 within the last month selling shirts like this. And you know what the awesome thing is? Besides their eBay and PayPal fees, their customers and their traffic are absolutely free. Graphic Gear UK get their customers from people coming into eBay and typing in relevant keywords into their search bar and then finding their listings. No paid ads required. Now here is the thing, you, yes, you watching, you could start your own money-making funny t-shirt business on eBay that is automated. How? Well, you do that by combining eBay's store automation tools with a website like Printful or Printify. These websites offer a free service that we in the e-commerce industry call Print On Demand. For those of you that don't know, Print On Demand is when services like Printful will manufacture and produce custom merchandise for you. What they let you do is take plain t-shirts like this and take an image design like this and then print it onto a t-shirt when a customer pays for it and buys it from you. And it's not just t-shirts that you can make either. You can create your own custom mugs, or you can even create your own custom aprons. But print-on-demand services like Printful aren't just amazing because they let you create your own custom products. They are awesome for another reason. They will let you print and create these products one at a time. So let's say you created this successful profitable t-shirt yourself using Printful. You then listed it on eBay for a markup price and a customer came and paid for one t-shirt. Awesome. Printful will automatically be notified of the sale. 
Their manufacturers will then print and create that single individual t-shirt for you and they will ship it out to the customer while you keep the difference in profit. So you don't have to invest in any inventory because you're actually selling products that don't exist. They are only made after you have successfully sold them. And yes, thanks to Printful's integration with eBay, they do this for you automatically. Combined with eBay's relisting automations, your store can be selling t-shirts, manufacturing them, and shipping them out while you're sitting internetless on a cruise ship. So that's the magic of print on demand and eBay for you. Now here's the thing, when it comes to print on demand, usually to make your t-shirts attractive enough to buy, you have to hire a designer to make a great design for you. And as we've discussed before on this channel, on average that costs around $25 per design. But funny t-shirts are the exception. With funny t-shirts, as stores like Graphic Gear UK show, simple text-based designs sell well. Here are five designs they created that made over $10,000. For these t-shirts, the simplicity of these simple text designs adds to the humor. And while that's good, the real bonus here for us is of course that since these t-shirts are literally just text, it's insanely easy for you to make t-shirts like these. To put this to the test, I decided to try and recreate this successful selling t-shirt in Printful. So here I am on Canva. Now this tool is completely free. Besides one quirk, I'll tell you about how to get around later. So what I did was I made a file as big as it could be, which is 4,500 by 5,500 pixels. That way it will be in super high resolution when we come to print it onto the t-shirt and it will come out crisp and clear. So next what I did was I just clicked the text button on the sidebar and then selected to add a little body of text and then I made the font quite a bit bigger so that you know I could actually see it. And then I moved the text box to the top of the page and resized it to fit the file. And then I just typed in the slogan, don't try to figure me out, I'm a special kind of twisted. So what we want to do is we want to find a font similar to the one that was being used on the original t-shirt. And Canva does have one, Antonio Bold. It's basically the same font. And so then I just resized it, made it as big as it could be to fill up the entire file size of the picture. So I'm just gonna see how much bigger I can get the font to be without it spilling over the file size. And there we go, 420 looks to be about right. And then I'm just going to center the text in the middle at the top of the page. And then I went and I saved it. So I actually have a pro Canva subscription. So I was able to save it as a transparent file, removing the white background and only leaving the text, which is necessary when printing designs onto shirts. Um, that costs $12.95 a month and it's a pro feature only. But if you still want to use Canva's free account, you can just save it as a PNG and then come to the free web browser tool here, Online JPEG Tools, and then use this tool to turn all white colors into a transparent background. So that's a nice free workaround. All right, so carrying on, I then came to Printful and then selected to start designing a unisex t-shirt. You'll usually find these on eBay stores. They're usually selling unisex ones like this one here. I then just found the file on my computer and I dragged and dropped it onto it. And then I just let it load and then I just dragged it around and moved it a bit so that it matched the placement of where the text was in the original design. And then that was it. I had made my own replica of this t-shirt in literally less than 12 minutes. So, sorry, two minutes. <laughs> I mean, we'll check out a preview of it so that you can see, you know, like that's how easy it is for these $10,000 plus a month stores to make their designs. You know, creating text-based t-shirts like this, it's ridiculously simple and easy. And here is a bonus tip to help give you an edge over your competitors in eBay. To help market your new products and greatly increase conversions, I recommend investing in the Placeit mock-up generator so that you can add lifestyle photos to your listings like these ones I created here. It costs $29.95 for a one month subscription that will leave you with $20 from your $50 investment. I'll have a link to it in the video description below. Of course, I definitely don't recommend that you simply go and copy Graphic Gear UK's shirts. What I recommend you do though, is that you get inspiration from them and use similar font styles, but add your own funny quotes and sayings. I find a great place to get inspiration for these is by browsing meme Instagram accounts and seeing what the most popular text images are. And here's another tip. With eBay, you can get started right now at building your store for no cost by taking advantage of their 50 free monthly listings. But as a beginner, you'll be limited to only having 10 up at a time. You really want to upload as many products as possible, so this isn't so good. 
But over time, eBay will increase your limits. In the beginning though, if you're using an account that is at least 90 days old, you can often call and get it increased immediately from 10 to 100. And here's another tip. In the beginning, the only print-on-demand app publicly available to be integrated with eBay is Printful, so you should use that. But once you start regularly making sales, switch to Printify's private beta integration. Their shirts are much cheaper and still high quality. Your profit margins with Printify will go from 10 to 15% up to over 30%. And my final tip, remember that leftover $20? Use some of it to buy cheap 99 cent downloadable products like Steam Keys on eBay. These sellers will leave you feedback and that feedback actually counts towards your public feedback score. Having some feedback for your profile will help you make sales a whole lot easier. Source two, create a dropshipping store and get free traffic. Dropshipping is another fantastic way to make money from selling physical products with very little startup money, like these cool little guitar spoons here. As we've shown numerous times on different case studies here on our YouTube channel, dropshipping stores can not only be scaled to $100 a day of passive income, they can be scaled well beyond that to hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars each year. Now I'm sure some of my subscribers won't be surprised to see this business on the list since you know it's what we mostly talk about here on this channel and if you would like to learn more about dropshipping then you should be sure to download our free ebook, The 6 Steps That 6 Figure Stores Follow To Make Over $10,000 A Month and you'll find a link to that in the video description below. Now I'm not going to lie, normally I recommend that if you want to start a dropshipping store and turn it into a source of passive income that you should set aside at least $500 for startup money. But using the free traffic twist in this video, you can cut your initial startup costs to less than $50 and make over $100 a month with this, like my friend Yaro, founder of Ali Dropship, did. So here's how it works. First of all, you set up your own online store. You don't use something like Amazon or eBay. You set up your own store on your own domain name. And I understand that for some of you watching this, that may sound scary, but trust me, it isn't. It's actually really easy thanks to a beginner friendly app called Shopify. I have a free video tutorial that shows you how to set up your own Shopify store from scratch step by step. Following that tutorial, it costs just $29 for your first month and just $14 for your domain name. So that's $43 out of our $50 budget. Now you might be thinking, great, I've got my store set up. That's awesome. Just one question, Sarah. What will I even sell in my store? Where will I get my products? Well, that's a good question. And the answer is simple. Come to this website, AliExpress. AliExpress is a website set up so that Chinese manufacturers can list and sell the items that they produce on here. There are lots of exciting, hyper viral products on here. And so because these items are coming direct from the manufacturer, they are very, very cheap. So these guitar spoons here, they are a great example. Now, these are really cool and they're really unique and original. And so the chances are a lot of you have never actually seen them before, but they've been making drop shippers a lot of money. They sell great because guitar players absolutely love them. On AliExpress, you can buy a set of four of them for just $5.95 with free e-packet shipping. So what you do then is you list these in your store for a big markup and then when customers come to your store and purchase them, you then go to AliExpress and buy them for the original price of just $5.95. But instead of giving the AliExpress supplier your address, you give them your customer's shipping address. And then they'll ship them out directly to your customer while you keep the difference in profit. This process is called drop shipping and it's not something new. Retailers since the 70s have been doing it and big retailers like Walmart to this day, they drop ship. You see, traditionally before drop shipping became a thing, if you wanted to sell these guitar spoons, you'd have to buy them in advance. So you'd have to buy maybe a hundred of them and get them shipped to your house and hope that people would buy them. However, drop shipping has changed that. Instead, you can now list these in your store for a markup and then only purchase them individually after a customer has paid you for it. That means that there is way less risk for you and way less startup money required. Now, this is all well and good, but there's just one problem. Most people who drop ship products from AliExpress do so by buying paid advertisements from Facebook. And yes, if you do this right, it can result in making a lot of money very fast. This Facebook ad performed very well, getting over 1 million views. Many other copycat ads did extremely well too. 
But yes, these ads cost money, which is why I usually recommend that beginners set aside at least $500 for this business. So instead, here is what I recommend that you do. Check this out. If you type in Dr. Mugs into Google and do a search, you'll find this store here. Mugdom. They've created numerous print-on-demand mugs, but they are also dropshipping mugs such as this mug here. This super cool mug is actually available on AliExpress, and they are just dropshipping it from there. And that's not all that they're dropshipping from AliExpress. These cute snail bag tea holders are being dropshipped from AliExpress, and would you believe that this guitar mug is also being dropshipped from AliExpress? And they are getting free customers for their mugs each and every day from Google, from people just finding them and them not having to do anything. And so, you know what? This is what you should do. Set up a store and get free traffic and customers from Google. So of course the question is, how do you do that? Well, the answer is that you make some tweaks to your website to make it more Google friendly. And most of these tweaks will revolve around adding or modifying text. And making those tweaks is Free. It's called search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO, and if you'd like a free step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to do this, I've made one for this channel, and I'll include a link to it in the video description below. And yes, you can indeed turn your dropshipping store into a source of passive income. There are lots and lots of virtual assistants that specialize in running AliExpress dropshipping stores like this by managing customer orders and answering emails for you. Usually a store making $2,000 or $3,000 a day can be managed in just one to two hours. I hire Shopify virtual assistants for five to $10 an hour. So once your store is making money, outsource the order management and customer emails and enjoy your new source of passive income. And don't forget that if you'd like to learn even more about dropshipping, then you should be sure to download our free ebook that teaches you the six steps that dropshipping stores follow to make over $10,000 a month. All right, on to the next source of passive income. Source three, create YouTube tutorial videos and earn passive income from commissions. So you may have noticed by watching this tutorial that I do indeed have quite a few video tutorials on YouTube. And you know what? These video tutorials are making me hundreds of dollars in passive income every single day. How? Through affiliate programs. Take Shopify, my favorite web store creator app. I'm a part of their affiliate program. They've given me a special URL. Anyone who clicks on this URL and buys a Shopify subscription is tracked to me, and I earn a commission on that sale. So what I did was I created a Shopify tutorial video that shows people how to set up a store. People really like my video and so they decide to create their own Shopify store for themselves. When they do, they'll often come to the video description and click on the Shopify link. When they do that, they'll be redirected to my Shopify affiliate link. And now if they buy anything, I'll be given a commission. People are constantly finding my Shopify tutorial by searching for relevant keywords on YouTube. And so now that my video is uploaded, it just sits there making me passive income every single day. And yes, this video has made me passive income from AdSense revenue. It made $560 for the month of May. But that was nothing compared to my Shopify commissions for May, which were almost $8,000. Now, not all of my referrals came from that one video, admittedly, but a big chunk of them did. And YouTube tutorial videos are some of the easiest ways to make affiliate commissions on YouTube, and that's for three reasons. One, they are some of the most searched for videos on YouTube. So once you've got a great tutorial video and you SEO it up, it's really easy to get traffic for it. Two, with tutorial videos, all you need to do is record your screen while you complete a task and you talk over it with any mic that you have available in the house. No expensive fancy camera required. And third, for anyone actually following along with your video tutorial, they will need to get the application that you're using anyway. So it's got a really high conversion rate of people clicking on your affiliate link and actually buying it. So what you should do is think about something you're good at. Maybe you're good at video editing. Go to Google and type in video editing affiliate programs. So let's take a look at the first program on the list here, Mavabi. Now what you wanna do is scroll down and see if there is any talk about needing to meet certain requirements to join the affiliate program, such as an established website or a big social media following. And no, this affiliate program doesn't require anything at all. All it requires is that you have actually made a YouTube channel so that when you create your affiliate account with them, you can put that in the URL box. I actually submitted a super bare bones affiliate application filling in as little as I needed to, to see if I would get automatically accepted. 
and yeah, my bare bones application was automatically accepted and I was allowed to create an account. Anyone can join this and start immediately making money from commissions. And the reason why I recommend that you do this is because I can imagine some of you watching this have thought, oh, I've got a great idea. I'll just make a Shopify tutorial video like Sarah has. And you know what? That's not the worst idea, but it's not quite as simple as that. And that's because Shopify deny a lot of applications since they actually vet them. The chances are most of you watching don't have an established audience. And so I highly recommend focusing on affiliate programs where you will be automatically accepted regardless of experience. So once you've found a program like this that's related to something you are good at, and you will be automatically accepted for it. Come to YouTube and do a search to see if anyone is successfully making tutorial videos for your chosen affiliate program you want to promote. You want to make sure there is actually an audience for your tutorials. And yes, there are lots of videos with tens of thousands to even hundreds of thousands of views. And in fact, someone has created a whole YouTube channel dedicated to Mavavi tutorial videos, and they'll be making thousands of dollars in passive income off of these from affiliate links that they've included in their video descriptions. So now that you've found a great affiliate program to work with and promote, go ahead and watch the currently successful video tutorials up on YouTube and make your own ones that are better. Check to see if there is a free trial of your chosen software or application that you're going to promote. If there isn't, use that $50 in startup money to buy it. And then take advantage of the free screen recording software Flashback Express to record it. And yes, you can add auto commentary with it as well, using either your own mic or one that you borrow from a friend. So there you go, those are my three sources of passive income that can make over $100 a day that you can get started with for just $50. And if you like this video and you'd like to learn even more about starting your own successful business, then you should be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any of our videos.